Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to make your graphics performance on games go from this to this using an external PC graphics card. So, let's get started. First, things you will need include um, a laptop, a graphics card, a PC graphics card, graphics card to mini PCIe adapter, a screwdriver to open your computer, um, a PC power supply to power the graphics card, an external monitor, and optionally a keyboard and a phone. So, let's start by opening up our laptop and connecting the graphics card. Remove all the screws, I've already done that. And then, depending on your computer model, this will be different. You just need to get your computer open. So before opening up your computer, make sure it's fully turned off. Now you can open it up. And now you need to take this card off and replace it with a cable from the adapter. So undo the screw, remember the, um, all the cables go, unplug those. And put this in instead. trying to protect those cables a bit. Okay, so now you can try to close your computer as good as possible. Obviously you won't close totally. So there's a cable coming out of here now. So now it is time to set up a graphics card. So, put the graphics card in here. Slide it in. Connect this cable. To here, connect the power supply here, um, and then get your monitor and plug the monitor's cable in here. So now, now that that's all set up, let's start it up. Wait, turn on the power supply first. Now let's boot the computer. So the graphics card fan is now spinning and the monitor is booting up. I have a convertible laptop so I can flip it like this and use the keyboard without the monitor and uh, the screen being away. If you don't have that, I would recommend you use an external keyboard just so your laptop screen doesn't get in the way since the graphics card can't display on the laptop screen. It only works in an external monitor. So, so it's on, you have to get Wi-Fi working. There are two methods of doing this because the cable is plugged into where the Wi-Fi chip was plugged in, so you run a Wi-Fi. So either you plug in a LAN cable to get Wi-Fi or you connect your phone like I'm going to do. Plug in my phone with this cable. So on your phone, go to settings, more, keyframe and mobile hotspot and activate USB keyframe. So now your phone will share your uh, yeah, the phone will share your phone's internet connection with your computer over USB. So my computer now has internet. Okay, so now you have to install the NVIDIA drivers. So go on Chrome. 
So now in Chrome, look up how um, look up Nvidia graphics drivers for Windows. Click on Nvidia's website. Now enter the type of graphics card you have connected externally. In my case, GeForce. Um, GeForce 700 series, GTX 750. My Windows is Windows 10 64 bit. You'll have to find out what your Windows is if it's 64 bit to, or 32 bit and what version. And I want English, so I press search. And then press download. I've already downloaded it, so I just go into my downloads. And here, double click with file in your downloads. And then just follow the NVIDIA installer's instructions. I forgot to record this part, so yeah, that's why it's done in this video. Wait for that to finish installing. So now you can open NVIDIA control panel. And to make any changes you feel like making in there. For my monitor, I had to make a custom resolution. And set the refresh rate to 59 hertz. Because my monitor, for some stupid reason, only supports 59 hertz, not 60, so it's set out of scan range. So I had to boot into in Windows in low resolution mode, and then change resolution in the video um, to be 59. Uh, the refresh rate to be 59 hertz. But yeah, everything should be working, and you can now enjoy your games at high resolution. If you experience any problems, feel free to put them in the comments below and I will try to help you fix them. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Here's some footage playing on my external graphics card. See ya.